Today I am going to explain about the concept of byte addressability and the different types of byte addressability. So we know that everything, our data, operands, instructions, programs, everything will be, if it is there in the main memory, then that can be taken by our processor. So that is main memory is nothing but it consisting of millions of storage cells, millions of storage cells where each storage cell can store only one bit of data either it can store 0 or it can store 1 that means one that means nothing but a flip flops okay in one flip flop we can store only one bit so but whenever our cpu is taking from the main memory see this is our main memory so whenever our cpu is taking from the main memory it is not taking in terms of bits that is one one bit it is not taking or whenever it wants to store into the main memory it is not storing one one bit so it will handle the data in terms of group of bits Okay, so group of 8 bits is called, we know that what 1 byte, group of 4 bit we called as 1 nibble, okay, and so again that means it is, again see, it is not handling the data in terms of bits, it is handling the group of bits, the group of 8 bit is called 1 byte, and since it is having so many storage cells, in one cell we can store only one bit, it is not possible to give address to one one bit, so it is too much. So what we can do, instead of assigning one address to one bit, we are assigning one address to one byte. Okay, so since we are assigning one address to one byte, we are main, main memory is called byte addressable. So byte addressable means, so we are assigning address to one byte. One byte is having one address. Okay, so now let us say this is the first, first location, second location, third location like this. So now what we can do that, again, our CPU is not handling the data in terms of byte because taking one one byte is taking too much of time. So what will it do? It will deal with the concept of word. Okay, word. Okay, one word. So what is one word? So group of bytes. Okay, group of bytes is equal to one word. That means now one word is group of bytes. Byte means one eight bit. So how many group of bytes? So it may be two group or group of two bytes, group of three bytes, group of four bytes, group of five bytes, it may be whatever. That depends upon what is the number of bits our machine is. Suppose our machine is 32 bit machine, so then it will handle. Suppose our bit machine is 32 bit machine, so then one word is equal to one word is equal to four byte. Four byte means what? One byte is equal to eight. Eight into four, 32, 32 bits. Suppose our machine is 64 bit machine, so then one word is equal to, so then what? 8 byte. So always our system, that is our processor, deals the data in terms of word. That means whenever it wants to fetch some data from the main memory, it will take one word at a time. Whenever it wants to store some data into the memory, it will store one word into the memory. So either it will fetch one word at a time or it will store one word at a time. So always it deals the data in terms of word, word, word. Okay. So the uh, number of bytes, what is the word length? Word length is depending upon the how many number of bit machine our is. Okay. So 32 bit machine, 4 byte. 64 bit machine, 8 byte. So this is the concept of byte addressable. Now, so in our main memory, so we are here I am storing the first word. Here I am storing the first word. Here I am storing the second word. Here I am storing the third word. Here I am storing the fourth word. Like that, there I am storing the last word. Now assume my machine is what? 32 bit machine. So size of one word is equal to 4 byte. 4 byte. So here I am what? In the first word I am what? 4 byte. So here I can store what? 4 byte. 4 byte. 4 byte means what? 4 location because for 1 byte, 1 address. So here what I can say, here I can divide. So see, 1, 2, 3. Similarly, So 1, 2, 3, 4, these are 4 bytes in the first word, again 1, 2, 3, 4 bytes in the second word, 4 bytes in the third word, 4. That means each word consisting of 4, 4 bytes. Now the question is, 
now i have to assign addresses now i need to identify individually see how to identify this byte this byte individually see how we are having what names to identify the individuals we are everybody we are having a name so through the name we are identifying person similarly how to identify this byte how to identify this byte so now what i told i told so for one byte we are giving one address that is called this byte addressable so how to assign the addresses this one so based on what address we can give to the bytes so either i can start numbering from in this way zero byte first byte second byte third byte like that i can start from here or i can start from here also zero byte first byte second byte third byte. okay the the way how we are assigning the byte addresses we are having two types of addressing okay one is big ndn another one is little ndn for two bit for two bit how, how i can get two bit i can see for two bit Say zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, one. These are four combinations. So two bit, I will get four combinations. So what are the numbers? These are what binary equal zero, one, two, three. That means range is from zero to three. Range is zero to three. Similarly, if I go for three bit, so I will get what? Zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, 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 zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, one, one. So this is what will be eight combination zero to seven. So three bit. So I get eight combination and the range is from zero to seven. Similarly, if you go for four bit, I will get sixteen two to the power of four. Okay. So this is nothing but what two to the power of four. This is the two to the power of three, two to the power of two. So this range is from zero to fifteen. Similarly, if I go for four bit, so then it is two to the power of five. That is nothing but thirty two. So range is zero to thirty one. Similarly, if I go for what? Suppose if I go for like this for k number of bits. Suppose there are k number of bits. What is the size? Two to the power of k total combinations. But range is what? See, two. This is two to the power of two, two to the power of three, two to the power of four. Okay, two to the power. See, this is the range. Two to the power of two, two to the power of three, two to the power of four. Four. Range is one less. Zero to three. Two three bit means two to the power of three eight eight means one less seven maximum zero to seven four bit means two to the power of four that is sixteen so that is maximum is zero to fifteen one minus similarly k bit means two to the power of k what is the range zero to what maximum minus one thirty two minus one thirty one sixteen minus one fifteen eight minus one seven eight four minus one three similarly this is what two to the power of k minus one this is the range so that means the last one is what this is the Two to the power of k minus one is the last number. So in that now I can start. See, I can assign. I can start number in zero, one, two, three. Here. Then again, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So like that I can start. So the last one is what? Two to the power of k minus one. Previous is what? Two to the power of k minus two. That two previous two to the power of k minus three. Two to the power of k minus four. So now, so what is the starting address of this byte? Zero. Starting address of this word because I told in one location, one word, one word. This is for one word. Similarly, this is also telling one word. This word starting address is what zero. This word starting address is what four. This starting address is what eight. So next to starting address is twelve. Like this goes up. So now I started assigning what. Number from see my left to right, left to right. So that means see when I write any bits, any bits. So we know that most significant and uh, least least significant bit. Suppose say this is some number. Now this is my what least significant bit, and this is my most significant bit. Similarly, when I come to this one, so this is my least significant byte. So this is byte, byte, byte. So least significant byte, and this is my most significant byte. If we assign, see here, zero, one, two, three. Among zero, one, two, three, which is the minimum number, zero. If we assign lower number to the most significant bit, okay, then this is called big NDN, not NDN, N, E N D, NDN. Okay, big NDN byte addressable. So, but somebody says, why have to start from here? I will start from this side. Yes, that also can be done. Suppose if anybody start instead of starting from zero from here, I will start from here. Zero, one, two, three. So then again here four, five, six, seven. 
this is 8 9 10 11 so now see this is last so now then what this is my 2 to the power of k minus 1 this is 2 to the power of k minus 2 2 to the power of k minus 3 2 to the power of k minus 4 so this is the starting address is what here starting address is 3 here 7 here it is 11 so next is what see 4 4 it is adding okay so this is 15 goes on like this okay if you start like this that means now what again this is my what least significant byte only this is my most significant byte if we assign least number to the least significant byte then it is called little endian okay little endian so there are two ways of byte addressable so I, if you assign minimum number minimum address to the most significant byte then it's called big endian so if you assign least number to the least significant byte then it's called little endian so these are the two ways of representing the addresses for the bytes so we discussed what is the byte addressable the two ways of addressing the bytes that is one is big endian little endian hope you people understood if you have any questions please write in the comments thank you thanks for watching